Let's balance the net ionic equation for MgCO3 plus CH3COOH. This is magnesium carbonate. This is acetic acid. So the first thing that we need to do with our net ionic equation, we need to balance the molecular equation. This here is the molecular equation. I can see that I have two of these acetate ions here. So I think I'm just going to put a two in front of the acetic acid. It looks like two times three is six times one. So I have eight hydrogens here. On this side, I have two times three. That's six plus two is eight. Everything else seems good. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can balance the net ionic equation. And to do that, we're going to write the states for each substance. That looks like this. So carbonates in general are insoluble. Magnesium carbonate, that's insoluble. Acetic acid is soluble in water. Do note that it's a weak acid. So this is a weak electrolyte. Compounds with the acetate ion are very soluble. We have water as a liquid, carbon dioxide as a gas. So now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. We don't split solids apart, and we said that acetic acid is a weak acid. So this is a weak electrolyte. Good one to memorize. We're not going to split this apart either. And we don't split liquids and gases apart in net ionic equations. So we end up with so again, we didn't split apart the solid, we didn't split apart the weak acid, the weak electrolyte, and water and carbon dioxide, the liquid and the gas, we don't split apart. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're the same on both sides of the equation, except there aren't any spectator ions, so we don't cross anything out. So this is the net ionic equation for MgCO3 plus CH3COOH, magnesium carbonate plus acetic acid. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation. You'll see that on this side, we have neutral compound. There's no charge. Over here, we have two plus, but we also have a two times this one minus. So two minus. Charge is conserved. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for MgCO3 plus CH3COOH. Thanks for watching.